Welcome back. This is Category 5 Technology TV. Now, Sasha, over the past couple of weeks, I've been looking for a Linux distribution to help me migrate my laptop over to Linux. Right. I need to be able to do video editing, though. That's, like, crucial to me. Right. Do you want I to be run cool a whole TV network like I am mm-hmm. with my Linux? With Linux, yes, absolutely. But you also still yeah. want to do video yes. editing. And so, now, we looked at LMDE. Yes. And I love it. I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's Debian based, but I couldn't quite get my video editor to work on it. So then I thought, okay, maybe I could try Linux Mint, the mm-hmm. actual Linux Mint 19, because mm-hmm. it's based on Ubuntu, and I know that it probably has more current proprietary drivers for NVIDIA, and those kinds of things are a lot easier to take care of on Linux Mint than they are on LMDE3, right. for example. So. I was able to get Linux Mint installed and I got DaVinci Resolve installed, but I was horribly disappointed in not Linux Mint, not Linux, but in DaVinci Resolve that it says, uh, your hardware is not good enough for this stuff, Robbie. Oh. And I said, uh, who cares about my screen resolution? I get in there and I start doing video editing and it says, you're out of memory, you're, your GPU can't keep up, and all this kind of stuff. And then I start thinking, uh, I do video editing on here on Microsoft Windows 10 all the time. Mm-hmm. CyberLink Power Director 14 is what I'm currently using. I'll probably upgrade because we do sometimes do some 360 stuff. But it works flawlessly. Mm-hmm. So why can't DaVinci Resolve handle editing on my same computer? And so it's not a Linux versus Windows thing, it's a CyberLink Power Director versus right. DaVinci Resolve thing. And I really love the idea of DaVinci Resolve, but it seems to me like I'd have to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade by a better laptop. It's getting aged, I admit. We've had this one for many years here at the studio, but it still does the job mm-hmm. on Windows for editing with CyberLink. Mm-hmm. So do you take that approach of investing money into the thing and buying new one and uh, now why don't I just buy a Mac if I have that mindset, <laughs> right? But, and that's the second time in this show that we've dissed Mac and that's what this show's about, folks. So <laughs> if you're that's here for the first time, now you know. <laughs> um, I don't want to take that approach because it already works. I don't like to replace things that I already have. Right. I'm, I'm you not just, that mindset. Right. You want to be able to use what you have, but yeah. for the purpose that suits you best. Right. Right. And I dream of being able to go 100% exclusive Linux, doing all my video editing, doing everything else. Everything else I only do on Linux. Web surfing, email, everything right. else I do, documents, everything is Linux. Programming, especially. I hate doing it on Windows. It sucks. Mm-hmm. But on Linux, it's fantastic. So I have to take the approach and say, okay, what, what else can I do? What can I do here? And then I thought, Sasha, what if, what if I took away that dependency and said, okay, it's telling me my laptop ain't good enough, even right. though I know it's good enough. Right. It ain't good enough to run DaVinci Resolve 15, but I know it's good enough for CyberLink PowerDirector 14. Right. And I'm happy with it. It's fantastic. So what if I dual booted? What if I take the approach of saying, let's just find a really nice Linux for me to use in my day to day. And when I have to do video editing, uh-huh. I can reboot into Windows 10, right. do my video editing in CyberLink PowerDirector, which performs great. And then when I'm done, I switch back into Linux. Well, bingo, so, bango. Yeah. Now I've done away with that need to depend on, hey, I have to be able to do DaVinci Resolve. I got it up and going, folks. So if you've got a dreamy computer, check out my blog, baldnerd.com. Do a quick search for DaVinci Resolve. I actually outlined kind of what I went through in order to get it up and going, including the packages that you need to install because it's a bit onerous. So, um, But it's working as you can see there. It's just complaining that I changed my resolution because as you know, I did that for you. Um, <laughs> So, but I'm, I'm really impressed with Linux Mint, okay? So let's take away the need to go with DaVinci Resolve and say, all right, let's, and I, see, I was working on New Every Day there for the week's show, and, and that's when I ran out of video memory and everything. Um, Linux Mint is, is really quite sleek, and this looks exactly like LMDE, I got to admit. 
It does look strikingly similar. Cinnamon is the menu system. It works really well. I love certain aspects of both LMDE and Linux Mint. For one, I really like the, the navigation. I really like the way that it operates. Mm -hmm. It's just, it flows with my kind of mindset of how the operating system and the file system should flow. Like when I plug in a device, it gives me access to it the way I think I should have access to it. And it just seems to work really, really well. I don't really need to go through the menu and navigation. It's all very much the same as what you've already seen. The difference mm -hmm. here is that I have things like driver manager. And when I bring that up, this is what really makes Linux Mint stand out against LMDE is because it's based on Ubuntu, it has features like this. And they come from Ubuntu. So this is like, hey, if you, if you love Ubuntu's capabilities but not Ubuntu's interface, well, Linux Mint really kind of strikes it for you. So you can see like my NVIDIA card was detected and it just installed and worked. Uh, it detected my Broadcom chip and installed and worked. So it right. makes things a lot easier. So there are differences, but they're subtle and they're really user-friendly experience kind of things. So I mentioned last week, if you're new to Linux, go with Linux Mint as opposed to LMDE because mm -hmm. I kind of feel like LMDE is a bit more power user-ish um, because of the fact that it's not based on Ubuntu, it's based on Debian. You do need to get your hands kind of a little more dirty with that. Right. So I'm kind of thinking, hey, I really like this whole thing that Linux Mint is doing. Check out more at linuxmint.com. See what you think. And if you've got a distro that you really love, let me know. And, uh, and let me know kind of what, what you think of the idea that maybe we should remove that DaVinci Resolve necessity from that, um, from that decision. Yeah. And instead, just find a distro that I really like. Right. I mean, who knows? You might find a distro you really like that does run DaVinci. No, it's because my oh heart. It's just, no, because it's not it's, Linux. Oh, it's not Linux. It's, it's not Linux. Oh, oh, right. It's actually DaVinci right. Resolve that's saying it didn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um.